Hey guys, today I want to show you how to remove a door card from a uh, Toyota Celica. This is a sixth generation Celica, which is, this one's a 1999, but it should be about the same for a 1994 through 99. And the speakers might be different though. I have the three door speaker set up, locked at the door. Um, this one has three speakers, which is the tweeter, the mid, and then the bass down here. Uh, some of the earlier Celicas, the 94, 95, 96, I believe the early ones don't have the three door car or the three speaker system, but it could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Anyways, it was only an option in some of them. So it's something I really wanted and that's why I made sure when I bought my Celica I got the three door speakers because I'm silly like that. All right, I had some work done on my car recently where they had to take the door cards out and ever since then my side mirrors uh, have stopped working on both sides. So anyways, I'm hoping that they just left something unplugged so I'm going to take my dark door card apart and see if um, I can just plug it back in and then my mirrors will work again. So I figured I'd show y'all how to take a door apart. So here we go. I'm going to start out. There's three little fasteners here that pop out pretty easily with a screwdriver. They're pretty simple. I take the tip of a screwdriver, just poke it in the middle. It pops out the side. Then you can use the flat head edge and they just pull out. Like that. And then you can reuse them. They're reusable. Same thing for that one. There's one, two, three on the bottom edge here. <clears throat> They're just Phillips. I realize my door is rusting out pretty bad. Sad panda. Then there's two spots right here and right here. Normally they're covered by a round trim piece that you just take a flathead screwdriver and pop off. Mine, mine are long gone. I can show you uh, what they look like on my other car because that door hasn't been taken apart. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys on my other car. It's also a Celica. Um, these are the two tabs in the door that were covering the the two screws and honestly I just pop them off with a flathead screwdriver uh, they're really hard to get back on I'm not sure how you do that exactly and get them to stay so I wouldn't glue them because if you need to take your door apart again that's not so fun but anyways here they are if you want to see what they look like but they are just Phillips Oh, and I have a little bucket I just keep all my bits in so I don't lose them. There's a hole right here. Often this one's missed, but there's a, um, a different screw in here, and I believe it's also a Phillips head. <clears throat> so you just want to feel around in there and get that guy out. There it goes. It's kind of stuck in there. I'll just wait until I pull the door out to get that. Okay, and then there's one more screw in here. Also Phillips. Oops, and I'm 
dropping things. Okay. And then when you take this one out, this little trim piece comes out as well. So you just kind of open the handle, take that off. This little triangle piece just pops off. It's actually, there you go. So there it is. It attaches with these three points. I actually have a new speaker that was just put in. So I think it looks nice. So if yours doesn't look like that, it, it shouldn't look like that speaker. These are not factory. Oh, I'm gonna empty out my sunglasses. So make sure there's nothing in here. I don't know what this goes to. Broken pieces. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> That'll do it. On the bottom front here, there's one more screw that I missed. And it is right over here on the inside. Okay. Oh, there's this screw. And it's bigger, it's bigger than the rest of the other ones. It's a little different style. Oh, there's one more. JK. Duh. All right, let me, let me show you that one. Right here, it's this screw. So, yeah, with this, it's really just about getting all of the screws. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it in there, because it's so dark. Um, but it's the one to the right here. That one is what I'm getting. And then the whole door should come apart. Everything else is pretty loose here. Okay, and this screw is also slightly different from the others. It usually is pretty easy to just pop off here. You kind of want to lift upwards because there's a lip. Now, that was my problem. It's not plugged in. Yay, okay. This is for the ghost light I put in, in the side door light. Okay, so this plug right here is what goes into here, like so. Oh, that just popped through. Okay, oh and look, that's definitely why my side mirrors don't work because it wasn't plugged in. So, that's our solution. So I just popped this back in and plugged it in. It's hard to do both of that while you're on camera. Okay, so now I'm gonna test it and make sure that it works. So if I turn this into accessory and I do the left mirror, and look, it works, it moves. Yay. So excited to have my mirrors back. And that moves. Yay! Okay, success. Okay. Now there's kind of a lip on top, so I like to go from above and try to push it down on the lip to line everything up. Yeah, you gotta get the lip up top first. And then I think the rest of the door part falls into place. So then you can start putting screws back in. You literally wanna do everything in reverse. So I like to start with the different screws, the two from the center. Got this one that looks like this. Hopefully, you can see that. I 
And this is the bigger one that goes in this deep hole here. But you kind of have to feel your way around. Beautiful. Then I can take this trim piece, put it back in here. So you kind of have to pull the lever out. And there's a little tab here. You kind of have to push it that way so it fits nicely there. And then there's a different screw that goes in here, which I believe is this thin one. I'm ex so excited that that's all the problem was. It just needed to be plugged in. So that is great. So great. Super happy about it. Okay. Then I'm gonna do the ones that go along the bottom here. And the ones that go up here and the ones at the bottom are this all the same type of uh, screw. kind of want to line up this little hole with this here. That's, I think, the easiest way to get this to go back in. There you go. It just pops right back on. And then I'll show you how these side ones work in reverse. So since they were taken apart, they're kind of like this. I just... Um, Put it back to normal or actually no i think you have to have it slid out so you pop it back in like that and then just push it and it's good to go so you want to push it out like that pop it back Bam. Okay, the door's all back together and my side mirrors work. So I am very happy and very excited about that. So that's how you remove and reinstall a door card. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.